So in young, healthy women who don't use contraceptives, two to three in 10,000 might develop a venous thromboembolism. The risk is much higher, 48 to 60, if this woman becomes pregnant. So the pill is much safer than pregnancy. And in women without additional cardio um, or venous thromboembolism risk factors, the risk is 5 to 12 in 10,000. So 5 to 7 is for the levonorgestrel pill. That means 9,993 would not develop a venous thrombosis if they have a history, a planned history for any risk factors. Nevertheless, um, this is an increase of the risk two to fourfold. And if our newspaper have on the first heading, um, pills increase your risk for venous thromboembolism fourfold, everybody stops the pill. And for 10 years, I had uh, young girls, my daughters were in upper, upper school, one is still, and that is why I know it, they just stop. These, there are these media releases, they just stop the pill, they don't consult their gynecologists, and that is terrible. And there might be other reasons in other countries why women do not use the pill. Hearing um, this, hearing this um, two to four fold risk. So I think we should not really work with these numbers, we should work with the absolute numbers. It's a much better and stronger argument, and you can compare that to the incidence of uh, events during a pregnancy. But what we also know, and I think this is really clear today, is that the pill with levonorgestrel is indeed associated with the smallest risk for <coughs> thromboembolism. However, the difference is not so um, huge comparing with the patch, the vaginal ring, or the uh, third and fourth generation pill, it's four to five thromboembolism in 10,000 women. So even if we have this as a rule that we should uh, start a woman with a levonorgestrel pill, we don't have a levonorgestrel vaginal ring, they, they will come, but at the moment we don't have, and if we know this woman um, is only reliable um, when she uses a ring because she would forget daily pill use, he would always give her a ring. And if a woman has a very, very strong acne, which motivates her more to use a pill, we would use any of those preparations because in absolute numbers, the difference is not so big. But it's the twofold, um, but it is uh, uh, the twofold risk. Nevertheless, I ask you to not um, use this uh, alterations. So just to um, comprise this, the CHC with the third and fourth generation progestine to have um, a twofold risk to fourfold risk in comparison with the DHCs containing levonorgestrel. But in numbers, this uh, risk is very small. So if you have a reason to prescribe another preparation, prescribe it. General recommendation is start with a levonorgestrel pill. And I don't know for how long you make the prescriptions in your countries. Um, we make it for a maximum one year because we think that a regular follow-up of the risk factors is needed, for example, also like um, <coughs> blood pressure measurement. Or if the woman is 35 and 40 and you really consider to continue a combined pill, you might also consider to measure the blood lipids, which is a bit more complicated because they have to come in the morning and have, uh, have 
yes, they are not allowed to have eaten, but usually they have their appointment later, so they have to come back again. Many doctors, in spite of all the teaching we do, still think if they go down with the ethanol as for dial from 30 microgram to 20 or 15 microgram, the VTE risk would be lower. But that is really not true according to the data uh, we have. 